I'd like to share with you today a very common and often overlooked cause of many health conditions uh, that we run across. These can be anything from low back pain and neck pain and headaches to digestive problems to sleeping problems, fatigue, anxiety. The list goes on and on and can even contribute some to issues like cardiovascular disease and cancer. And what I'm talking about is what I refer to as either sympathetic dominance or sympathetic overdrive. And this is where the brain and nervous system actually kick in the fight or flight mechanism and never turn it off. And this is not how our system and our bodies were designed to run. And what happens is we start to get fatigue and exhaustion in different organs and systems in the body. So what I'd like to do today is, is show you how we find this with patients when we're working with uh, our patients using bioenergetic synchronization technique or BEST. And it's very easy to, to detect these issues when they, they come up. And it's uh, rather easy to, to turn this mechanism off by using this technique. So what I'd like to do is demonstrate to you how this works. Now we have uh, our patient here, Wendy, and basically what we're seeing is that whenever someone's laying down on a table like this, all of the muscles in their body should be nice and relaxed. There's no reason for muscles to stay tight when we're lying down. So one of the first places that I check are the muscles around the hips and uh, pelvic girdle to see if they're staying relaxed. And the best way to see this is by the rotation of the feet. And you can see very clearly that when we start to turn, the foot stops right there. And normally we should be able to get the toes to touch. And we just we run into a block there. So what I'm going to do is go through a sequence uh, with a patient uh, with bioenergetic synchronization to determine what is causing this fight or flight mechanism to stay locked in and what we can do to correct this problem. So I'm going to have Wendy focus on some different things and words and I'm doing all of this based on leg checks and, and changes in the muscle tone in her legs. So what we're going to do now is uh, have Wendy focus on some different feelings and see how that changes the muscle tone. So the first feeling I want you to focus on is impatience. So I found what we need to use to, to basically resynchronize the brain. And what I'm going to have Wendy do is focus on the feeling of glad and the number five. And you're going to keep your eyes closed and looking down. And I'm going to hold some specific contact points on the head. And go ahead and take a deep breath in and hold it. Focused on glad and the number five. Okay. your head up. Okay. And what we want to do to see if this was actually effective in deactivating that fight or flight physiology is to recheck the muscle tone and the, the legs. And let's see here if we have any changes. Wow. Yeah. Big change there. So you can see now the muscles are relaxed. And that lets us know that we disengage that fight or flight physiology. And the importance of that is that whenever you're in fight or flight, the body cannot heal itself. And especially if there's a health challenge or health issue going on, we want to keep the body in that healing mode as much as possible. So this allows us to very effectively disengage the fight or flight physiology when it's not needed and restore the body's natural timing and balance. So I want to thank you for checking out this video and have a great day.